Hello, people. <laughs> COVID camps. <laughs> Put disease carriers in detention centres, you fucking diseased people. Look at that. COVID camps. 2nd of January, 2021. Oh, I don't know. Let's check this shit out. And here it is. New York State Senate. Assembly Bill A416. Relates to the removal of cases, contacts and carriers of communicable diseases who are potentially dangerous to the public health. Are you one of those? Let's go down, shall we? Hang on. Move it across a little bit so it looks all nice and, and pretty and symmetrical for you. So that you can read it before you get dragged away to the camps. <laughs> Seriously, the only thing that I'm disappointed about in this, this whole camp thing, you know, Camp COVID, Sounds like fun, actually. Let me say that again. Camp COVID. Yeah. Sounds like a place where you can go and do some yoga and maybe get in the spa and, I don't know, have a massage or two, maybe some meditation. Anyway, let's read. An act to amend the public health law in relation to the removal of cases, contacts and carriers of communicable diseases who are potentially dangerous to the public health. The people of the state of New York, represented in Senate and Assembly, do enact as follows. Section 1. The public health law is amended by acting a new section yada yada yada. Removal and detention of cases, contacts and carriers who are or may be a danger to public health, other, were, uh, other orders. The provisions of this section shall be utilised in the event that the Governor declares a state of health emergency due to an epidemic of any communicable disease. Upon determining by clear and convincing evidence that the health of others is or may be endangered by a case, contact or carrier, or suspected case, contact or carrier of a contagious disease that, in the opinion of the governor, after, co oh, how many fucking commas is there? After consultation with the commissioner, may pose an imminent and significant threat to the public health resulting in severe morbidity or high mortality. Jesus, the governor or his or her delegate including, but notwithstanding, therefore, section sub 210 of A47, for the love of shit, but not limited <laughs> to the commissioner or the heads of local health departments, again, another comma, may order the removal and or detention of such a person or of a group of such persons by issuing a single order Still no full stop. I don't know about anybody else, but there's no way in, in hell that I could possibly go through that in, in like, yeah, I mean, shit. Give me a full stop on the odd occasion. Identifying such persons either by name or by a reasonably specific description of the individuals or group being detained. Thank fuck for the full stop. Such person or group or person shall be detained in a medical facility or other appropriate facility or premises designated by the governor or his or her, oh, fuck's sake, his or her delegee and complying with subdivision five of this section, full stop. A person or group removed or detained by order of the governor or his or her, eee. And it goes on, okay? Basically, 
In short, it's this. Yes, I've gone back here. This is just easier to read. <laughs> the sweeping powers would be employed in the event of the state government declaring a health emergency due to an epidemic of any communicable disease the bill proposes. The legislation states that the government must provide clear and convincing evidence that the health of others is in danger before ordering a personal group to be detained. Uh, people being removed will have the right to legal representation and are allowed to supply the telephone numbers of friends or family to receive notification of the individual's detention. Notice it's not like you're allowed the, the, to call your family members and say, hey, I'm being fucking kidnapped. No, they want the numbers. Why? Because if you're infected, they're going after your family. The law apparently allows the governor or health official to unilaterally approve such detentions, but a court order is required within 60 days of confinement, and a judicial review is also required if the individual is still in detention after 90 days. See that? After 90 motherfucking days? Citizens that are placed in detention will be released once health authorities determine that they are no longer contagious, the proposed law states. The bill also allows the governor or relevant health authorities to require people deemed potential health risks to submit to medical examinations as well as undergo a prescribed course of treatment, meaning they can vaccinate your ass as much as they want, and preventative medication or vaccination. The law does not specify or specifically mention uh, the virus. On this website, Perry says A416 relates to the removal of cases, contacts and carriers of communicable diseases who are potentially dangerous to the public health. So if you don't want to vax, if you don't want to get tested, it's called fuck you. You're going off to Camp David. <laughs> Except it's not Camp David, it's Camp COVID. See, it has that, that same spring to it. You know what I mean? Camp David. Sounds like some place that you should go and have fun. Camp COVID. Who knows? I might see you there. You know, that's the only part that would be really disappointing to me, is that we all wouldn't end up in the same fucking camps. We could have some fun. You know? Organise a breakout, a takeover. I could have some fun doing that. But, what can I tell you? Each one of us needs to pack just in case you win the prize. Head to Camp COVID. <laughs>